I was asked by Americans, why is it that uh, I did not want to accept this kind of game? Why was it that I refused to engage in MK Ultra game in Slovenia? That's what it was a game. Why was it that I did not want to identify people? Well, it wasn't about Slovenia only, but yeah, when it comes to Slovenia, the people who had uh, MK Ultra game, it was a game, that's how they refer to one as uh, control over this extermination procedure of people like Milan Kuchan, Drnošek, Borut Pahar, people that were involved already since my childhood, my earliest childhood in a torture. People whom I have watched on the TV since I was a child. People who did not only lie, they lied visibly. You could listen to their lies. Every day you could listen to their lies. As soon as you would turn the TV on, and they had them on a the TV. Yeah? I asked her to allow me to take uh, gas bombs upstairs and she doesn't allow me to so let's continue with this video yeah there are two Mother stated this one here always was, since there is a house, that's not true, but quite a long time, yes. Uh, this one they did it, talking about the parents and this one here. So this one, this is the new one. This is the newest one. Okay, so here's the thing. Come home. When you're in a grammar school, you turn on the TV and you see the people, the politicians, indifferent from Milosevic, what became Milosevic, Belgrade, Slovenian from Ljubljana, and you see them. And these people don't lie only. These people also kill. It didn't matter where you worked in Slovenia. You watched killers every fucking day. Whenever you turn the TV on, and the people that were involved in it were people from RTV Slovenia. Since my childhood, they involved the people, they always involved the people when it's ethnic cleansing. They always involve the people that you see every day on the TV. This is a routine job. It's a routine. There is no country that wouldn't do ethnic cleansing. That involves through the MK Ultra procedure that the people whom they label as a paranoid schizophrenics would not watch a main TV cast in their own language. It's basically people that uh, shoot propaganda, ethnic cleansing propaganda daily in the faces of the people. There is no country like this. Slovenia was no exception to it. So Americans asked me while well, the British, why was it that I did not want this case to be resolved by these people. Well, if I go past torture, they 
engaged in since my childhood on behalf of Josip Broz Tito, well, he was the number one. Um, the answer is obvious, isn't it? They did not. These people did not only lie, they killed people. And they did not kill individually people, they killed in a masse. They killed people in numbers. There was a lot of people in Slovenia, in Croatia, that wanted independence. Well, it was a lot of people they exterminated. The people whom I mentioned. It was not one, it was not two, it was not ten, it was not fifty, and it was not hundred people they exterminated. These people exterminated thousands of people. Maybe they exterminated even millions of people. They exterminated between 1945 and they exterminated all the way to 1991. Everything in the name of the Yugoslavia. That's a greater Serbian Chetnik state, as it became evident. So why, why would I go and trust people like this? Why would I go and see myself in a people like this? I don't know. You tell me why the fuck I would do this. To commit a suicide. Sorry I didn't like you that much. Serbs that were involved in MKUltra frequently lied. Serbs that were involved in MK Ultra here in Slovenia, who lived here in Slovenia, they lied about everything. And they also let me know about it. Not everyone did, but mostly they did, and mostly they terrorized. Everyone terrorized. As soon as you mentioned, you're going to be labeled as mentally ill. If I did something like this in Yugoslavia, I would be dead. It didn't even matter if I would go and say, oh, well, you know, uh, this guy was involved then and uh, at his home, his table is like this or his kitchen is like this and he's, he's got a wife and uh, daughters and uh, or sons or whatever. And he has an aunt and this and that uh, over there and uh, works at a, such a place, you know. Kind of difficult as a child, what the fuck these people even want? Uh, there was no way anybody in the city even had audio recorder past uh, the cassettophone. Like the first audio recorders that came out, I even, recorded, I even remember them. I wasn't a child anymore. Uh, here uh, things did not move so quickly. And this kind of things did not move at all. The first audio recorders that came out, it's bizarre. I mean, that fucking shit goes when I was, I don't know. You would have to take the whole fucking suitcase with you to audio record somebody. And then those Walkmans appeared. It didn't last me. I had a Walkman. I understand one Walkman with ability to even audio record, it lasted about maybe two days. No. The answer is fucking no, no way. So what good would it go to me to go out there and to go to the police officer and tell him, you know what, I know this guy. And I know that guy, and he's going to say, well, how come you know him? When well, you say, I say, supposedly I would say, well, because he was involved in this kind of procedure. Oh, okay. Just give me one moment. And he goes on the radio and he says, we have one more crazy. Just send the ambulance vehicle so they can take him to the psychiatric hospital. This is what's in Yugoslavia. I was like this. I had no fucking idea what these Americans and British talked about why I did not want to identify. Why would I not identify? Right now I have spoken about one of the psychiatrists who was involved in it. 
Želim je Bošnjak. Who the fuck guaranteed me? Who the fuck guaranteed anyone during NK Ultra? About who was lying and who was not lying. I am saying this stuff because it was people like Bosniak who dared to doubt that everything is okay with me, that I'm normal actually. Because you would not go and identify people. You would not go over there and you know they were first of all they were doing a kill. They were killing out there. They went on to murder people through exact procedure. You don't fucking put somebody, drug him up, sit him on a fucking front yard while you do your work at the house at the weekend, whatever the fuck you do. Uh, if, if I said somebody and make you fucking wait, you will want to know why, why you do that stuff to me, right? But there was no explanation. The only explanation was that if you will do this, you will get killed immediately so what kind of explanation the fuck is this you want to go and identify a person like this is a psychiatrist that the psychiatric as a novel master general hospital or he's a police officer someplace or he is a judge someplace or he works at the rtv slovenia or he is a president of the so-called communists in yugoslavia you want to go and identify him like this okay they tried, but I just didn't feel like I want to do it, and that's why I'm still alive. It's like a reason that I should go and do this kind of stuff other than getting killed for what I deemed that Americans and British, when they demanded from me to identify, go out there and identify, were nothing other than engaging in cooperating, basically, in an ethnic cleansing program. They assisted them. They helped them out. That's all there was. Well, but not really. The British royals claimed the workmen's and I don't know what, uh, it came to Slovenia through the trade so that I could do the MK Ultra. Uh, and then, uh, shit, I didn't have any kind of digital cameras back then, nothing really, it didn't exist. Uh, but, uh, you know, they started to explain how you do this, yeah, really. I find it bizarre because whatever I purchased, everything was broken apart, destroyed. My parents were compelled to buy watches such as Casio just so they could be destroyed, stolen by the local Serbs that will laugh in the face. So what exactly is this? This is what you call Izlujivanje. Gaslighting some form of gaslighting, except that if you're compelled to enter in the state of the mind of Izlujivanje on a very, very high level, like I said, drugged up, seated on a chair, and you would have occasionally people coming to do the torture on you, trauma, to induce trauma on you. This is not uh, gaslighting. Gaslighting is if there will be ambulance vehicle parked right there somewhere at the at the parcel or gaslighting would be if I would get uh, Let's say frequent. Uh, I don't know flyovers of uh, of uh, Planes this actually did happen the gaslighting would be like it was like let's say uh, uh, right now as I stepped, as I opened, I had a neighbor coughing right outside of the window here when I started to walk up and down the stairs. That's a, that's a form of gaslighting. But the stuff I'm talking about is not a gaslighting. If somebody throw you on psychiatric, um, on, uh, and who knows if they didn't even give me the psychiatric drugs back then? Who the fuck knows? 
Who knows? They knew that they're gonna throw me on psychiatric drugs, so why wouldn't they give me back then whatever it existed? When you're drugged up, you have no fucking control over your body. You have nothing, no control over... You have control over your mind, certain degree of control. For whatever you try to realize has been done to you, it's not answers that are given in return, if you ask questions. You're not told what the fuck is going on. The most frequent answer during MK Ultra is, you will see. You understand? On every intelligent question that you ask, the answer is, you will see. So, Jeremy Boschner today, as I somehow, I don't know why, but I was triggered to start to think about this guy more. And once I concentrate on these people, then it's a lot of answers that come out immediately. Systematically, they start to pop up the answers. But not everything I should say immediately. Some immediately, some not really. There was no reason for me to uh, go and identify anybody. Because I didn't feel like I want to be dead yet. Bosniak was involved in this through the Novo Mesto, General Hospital, probably since 1982. And the neighbor quarter here had a tremendous problem with the, the dates that I get. During MK Ultra, he was angry all the time. I had no fucking idea what for. I mean, why the fuck was he angry about it all the time? I mean, possibly he was involved longer than that. People would appear at locations before they would get work frequently. That was a normal procedure during MK Ultra. Don't ask me why. As for all these issues, there is a, such a mental illness as paranoid schizophrenia, they claim. Yeah, they just say it's a paranoid schizophrenia and that's all there is to it. People who get compensated for the torture, this torture is not for free that state provides. They pay the people that are involved in the torture. It's not free. But why would you have a problem? Why would you have such a big problem? Why do you fear somebody from saying, as for how long have you been in a certain place? Why you became so politically correct if you have nothing to fear from? This is the stuff I want to know. Because this isn't about me making mistakes. It's about you making huge fucking mistakes. It's about you hiding something a whole lot that you fear from. That you are trying to be so politically correct or in front of the parents and so on. So if I'm doing this kind of stuff to make impression on my parents, that something is wrong with me, no matter what. This was like a part of necessary element. If there was necessary to do one at all, I don't know. I don't know about that, uh, but it was a regular I don't know, man. I, I'm not really a believer of my parents. I'm not a supporter of my family. I've seen too often during MK Ultra stuff that it's not okay. It's a lot of stuff suggests me that these are not parents, really. Too much. Too much of it. I don't see nothing parental about these people, to be honest with you. I don't see nothing parental about the father that watches his son being tortured, tormented, hurled like this, and dares to actually suggest to him that something is wrong with him mentally and so on. Especially in these kind of circumstances. This is totally fucked up. But at the same time, he's afraid like a fucking mouse. He is appearing all over, everywhere, like he is scared for his life all the fucking time. And he had right. Because people here in Slovenia, across Yugoslavia, I should say, they were killed all the fucking time. So if we go back to this beginning of this video, I don't understand why the fuck I would trust this. 
I know when I spend my own fucking money to buy myself a Walkman and stuff like this and radio and everything got broken by the police because they destroyed everything. It cost me fucking money out of my own fucking pocket. When I bought the used clothing in the US, which I never did in my lifetime, but I did once I immigrated to re-immigrated to the US. I did go to the stores to purchase myself even used clothing, if it was a really good clothing, if it was a good deal. And it was when I came back to and the same shit was in 2006 and in 2011 when I returned back to Slovenia where I was brainwashed that uh, by the British Royals for everything that was good stuff like a high quality stuff that they had that placed inside of the store so that I could purchase and stuff like this come on man what the fuck are you dreaming about man why the fuck would I go and identify anybody under this kind of circumstances and this circumstances only became more intense it only became more intensive more criminal upon Slovenian independence with Milan Kurchan in 1988 in 1989 flashing in front of General Hospital here in Novomesto in front of the police and there was maybe a nurse too that were in the area loud making so clear what he wants to have done with me and so on walked back and forth the area of general hospital but he's from Ljubljana right and uh, oh my god how the fuck is that possible that he was there when he never was registered anywhere yes he is from Ljubljana and Ljubljana is 70 fucking kilometers from the Novomesto city so my question to you motherfuckers here in Novomesto is how come that you have never seen Milan Kuchan in Novomesto because you go and you you display like the fucking insane fucking day like schizophrenically Milan Kuchan visited a company in Kranj or Milan Kuchan came to Pozela or Milan Kuchan came to uh, in whole year I don't know what the fuck what kind of year and Milan Kuchan appeared at some kind of memorial and Milan Kuchan paid attention at uh, you know I don't know really are you fucking serious man the guys from Slovenia I'm fucking asking you now I mean if you're so honest you why so little news why so little why did why so little coverage where this motherfucker went through every hospital every company where the fuck were you to not report this stuff like it didn't fucking matter like yeah official it's called official visit if i go to mk ultra it was always that's why we call this official yeah that's why we call this official but i am officially diagnosed with a paranoid schizophrenia and it doesn't fucking help me the unofficial the unofficial doesn't help me and Milan Kuchan unofficial visits to Novo Mesto don't fucking help me and unofficial in my case when it comes to permanent schizophrenia is whatever is not official how the fuck is that well because of violations that Slovenian Supreme Court all the way not only other courts committed and the law which dictates that the reason must be given for individual to be labeled as such and even the second opinion of psychiatrists must be done given and so on so official and non-official it becomes actually that a non-official eventually is even official that's how fucked up the story is
I watched the news about uh, his name is a Boban. He's from Zagreb. He was involved in MK Ultra, a uh, footballer, a soccer player, if you like, not footballer, but soccer player. And uh, there was an incident on a stadium he had with some uh, Bosnian guy from uh, eastern part of Bosnia near Srebrenica. That guy already saw himself as a Serb, anyways. More than a Croat. And he had to, if he would not, they would, they would kill him over there. Because it's close to Serbia. He borders Serbia. This is an ultra minority, almost, within that uh, Republic Srpska. And you know what he stated, this Bosnian guy? He stated like this, he said, he was a police officer at the time, you know, on the stadium when they had this uh, some kind of soccer game. I never give a fuck about soccer or whatever. You know, I, I just didn't care about it. He stayed like this, you know, during the soccer game. Because in your country, it's your, your country in America and in, in Britain and in Germany, and whatever fucking place, it's different. For you, it would be unusual. But here, this shit was normal. I testified to it. He stated in Yugoslavia, it was this police officer who hit me, hit him, whatever, at a stadium, and he was doing a piece. He was making a piece. He tried to calm everybody down. He acted very intelligently. Then the only thing that happened is all of a sudden the police officer comes and hit him. And he didn't know why the fuck this and that. And the, the next thing you see is he returned him back. He jumped and kicked him. Um, I absolutely never approved violence against the police officers. Never did. Never will. Um, but the thing about it is those were ethnic tensions that went on at that stadium in Zagreb. And, uh, well, I think it was in Zagreb, don't, don't uh, please, don't get offended. Zagreb must have been. So, what the fuck can I tell you? Um, ethnic tensions made that soccer go insane. That's one thing. And the second thing is, Croats suggested me that it was my case that was making them insane, the way they treated me. But, you know, the, 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 the list of events, the way that the events developed, it, it didn't go to favor of Croatia, which I supported so dearly. What matters is, in that game, a police officer with whom they did interview not too long ago was angry as fuck. And he insisted that uh, he could have shot, killed uh, this guy, this Croatian Boban, easily. In fact, that he was told by other police officers to use the firearm and shoot, kill. During MK Ultra, let me tell you, during MK Ultra in Yugoslavia, Americans don't know anything about it. British don't know anything about it. Germans don't know anything about it. 100% not. It's a dirty secret. But I watched people with my bare eyes getting killed. They killed people in front of me practically. I was in a situation, I was in a circumstances where people appeared, went off, uh, and in Bosnia, in Croatia probably, and uh, the only thing that happened was, because there was not one police officer, they always had several police officers, and the only thing that happened was, it would be a police officer that literally would, they would use a firearm 
Sometimes they had to kill somebody. They got a job to go to the certain village and they were using me to create incident. And it would be somebody that had whatever they were doing to him that would go off and the only thing it would do is it would be a police officer that would step on the side and they engineered with the neighbors with whomever incident and it was a firearm that was pulled out and the rest it doesn't matter you understand this is yugoslavia this is what this chetnik greater serbian state was like to be in this is the reality this is the reality now you go fucking tell somebody that even he's underpaid and have wages stolen and everything life stolen that he got certain things because of you and stuff like this uh, come on man that person is gonna go and uh, actually take your word for it well what the fuck i mean what your people from america from germany and from you know it was a pathetic response when they contacted me it was pathetic to to engage in uh, communication it was very very pathetic response it was so pathetic I felt it didn't fit on my picture actually but the questions we are discussing go all the way to my grammar school they go all the way to my high school when they provocate it why didn't you do this why didn't you do that I tell you with this guy wrong, this guy this, this guy that. I definitely hope you learned something from this video. In Yugoslavia, police officers, if they wanted to pull the gun out and shoot you, there was no such thing like fucking cameras or anything like this. They didn't exist. Pull the gun out and empty the fucking magazine. And this guy that uh, I watched the video about this guy, this Bosnian guy, totally reminded me of how it was in Yugoslavia. In Yugoslavia, he come in your home and shoot you. Just like this. Simple. Yugoslavia did not die. In this stairways, the neighbor here terrorized with a revolver, with a gun. And not one. During MK Ultra situation, you don't have any kind of any kind of possibility to survive. Any kind of possibility whatsoever. None. And you're fucking asking me about under this kind of circumstances, why? They were asking me, why haven't I done this? Why didn't I do this earlier? And so on. It's a death sentence. It's a death sentence. It's a disgrace that the United Nations don't talk about this kind of crime. Because this is... Mother of all the crimes that exist out there. Nothing is like MK Ultra. Not a cancer, not a brain cancer. Whatever disease that is out there, AIDS, whatever that might be. Accident were engineered through this. They had a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, in Croatia, who started to teach them how to create an uh, accident on the road. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who worked with the Slovenian police, did go to Croatia and started to guarantee me on a certain locations in Croatia, along the shoreline, where is it exactly that he's going to have car crash, uh, car crash accident done to me and they started to literally play with positioning cars uh, and playing with a Croatian police literally on an intersection not really intersection I remember one 
I don't know what it was. It was like a curve, and there was some road that comes and so on, and it started to fuck with these issues. There is unusual locations here in the city of Nanova Mesa that they did not care to bother to, to fix to make sure that it would be safe even. Slovenian police, terrorist, a fucking terrorist, started to tutor across how to create accidents, car accidents and stuff like this. If there would be any fucking distance in Croatian police, they would have given this stuff out already. Didn't have to wait for me to do stuff like this. That's if they wouldn't have problems of their own, if they wouldn't be involved in so much crime, they, they got involved in it. Because it was entire Croatia and entire Slovenia, they got built literally on this case. Why haven't I this done this earlier? Why haven't I? I want to fucking change a single fucking thing because there was no way I possibly could. If I did change anything about it, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Slightest a little bit. There were no mistakes in Yugoslavia. In Yugoslavia, there was only death. There were no mistakes. Even here in Slovenia, what went on, it, it, it totally met the description of Yugoslavia. It was the same thing. This shit here, this Slovenian independence shit, it was the same shit as Yugoslavia. It was the same fucking people, they ran on the same system. They lied the same way, they did the same fucking thing, the same shit like during Yugoslavia. During MK Ultra, this thing here always was. Always was this thing here. This is the tire from the Mazda. This is how my tires were. This is original tire from the Mazda, you know? This. See? Sava. This is what I purchased, and what was placed on my car was the tires. They didn't have any kind of profile for the time being. They, they went on, and uh, they had the houses, talking about the police here, right across the river right there that you see. All these houses scanned. All the way, every fucking one of them, talking about already independent Slovenia, talking about the year 1999-2000, all these houses, the police, every fucking house, every one of them. What were they doing there? First they presented to me the whole issue under Louis Petele, Louis, that was... Uh, together with Yansha and his team uh, positioned himself inside of the house he had a locals spy on this house with binoculars they were they, they were catching people with binoculars this here I was told by my parents they did this so that it could not be seen from the other side of the river into into our uh, into our uh, house, you know. But what's interesting, what, what is really, really, really what fucked me up about this stuff is, they presented to me this issue, like 99, 2000. Oh, we, we are doing, it, it appeared was Eloise Peterle, we are doing the surveillance of your house, this and that. Then it was the next thing, Police started action. Uh, maybe he had to do this. So the next step, this is this was a frequent procedure. So this is opposition, supposedly opposition from uh, Milan Kuchan. 
Uh, well, uh, we found what they did, that they surveillanced us and this and that. And the next thing you see is with Loise Petrlet together in front of the police asking me uh, on who's going to do that for you. Who's going to do this part for you? Who's going to do this thing for you? Yeah, because I made an arrangement, supposedly drugged up as I was, but I had to make an arrangement. I made an arrangement with commit myself, basically, drugged up to Loise Petrlet, that he will be a politician who will reveal what the fuck went on inside of this house, what went on here. So what the police wanted from me was a commitment. They asked, whom do you, do you like him? Do you want him to do this? And I said, yes, which didn't make sense because I already, uh, he presented issue to me and how he is going to help me out and so on. And uh, all of a sudden we have a different kind of song. It's police talking to him, police who busted supposedly him about whether he agrees to have for him to record our house so he could present this issue to me as a solution I actually prove this and I would prove him so what you're doing is what, what they try to do is obviously they all work together but what they wanted to do for me is a commitment get a commitment of basically saying yes uh, you know, basically what they wanted to do is they wanted me to commit myself to his lies. Because he all along, since Yugoslavia, I described him, he was involved since childhood, worked for Milan Kuchan. The things did not change at all in this, in this Yugo, uh, Slovenia, once he became independent. This here is much scarcer, talking about the leaves here, the trees. You can actually quite see a cross when the fall comes and the, the leaves fell down. It's a totally different landscape, it's a totally different picture. But right now it's like it's green, it's like this. I've had also a lot of rain lately. Like I don't re recall, like every day is a, is a rain. So this was year 2000, 99, whatever. Now it's year 2024, if I have to remind you. If I remind you, it's 2024. You would be surprised how many of these people that were involved in MK Ultra, it's not MK Ultra, it's extermination procedure, through the use of drugs, would even argue. They would want to even argue with me, it's 2024. If I went to psychiatrist, Proxy, and she asked me what date it is today, and if I would not answer her, it's May 30, whatever, 2024, she would prescribe more medications, or even send me into the psychiatric hospital in Bionopoli. But it's people today, psychiatrists, that want to argue about what fucking year it is. Because this is indifferent from the issues that I described in this video. Their attitude was. There was a whole lot of reasons why I didn't want to go and identify people. There was a whole lot of stuff why I have not done it. Why I have done it this way. Why it took me so long. It took me so long because I couldn't do any different. In 2010, when I started to talk about MK Ultra in Sweden, the only thing that happened is they wanted to fucking kill me. The only thing that happened was they wanted to fucking burn me. And what is interesting about it, because they, they super intensified even whatever was already impossible, to get me into psychiatric hospital as fast as possible. What's interesting about it, what's notable about this stuff is, they claimed me that it was wrong with my personality. After 40, I was born in December 9, 1971. 
after 38 years of torture, 37 years of torture performed on me, extermination procedure enforced against me, they came to the conclusion that it was better for the case not to be known because of my personality, which matched the one of the white nationalists. But this came to them in 2010 and in 2011. In 2010, my personality didn't match any kind of issues like this yet, but it was becoming extreme. Because whatever bothered them, I wanted to become more and more. And when you go about and you start to talk about MK Ultra, it's extremely, extremely sensitive topic. These people become extremely, extremely politically correct. The torture doesn't even fucking matter anymore. Now what matters more than anything is your being politically correct. It's a strange type of crime, I told you. For the good reason, nobody survives. And it's why it took me so long. It's a strange type of crime. It's a strange type of procedure. Very strange. After 2000, something really must have happened because Milan Kucha no longer would come as often as it used to. But I'm not talking about the city of the novel maestro. I'm talking about our house here. He would go right here across the street. He would here across the street. He would do the burgers here. He would stay in the area here with other people and would use cameras, would use cameras, internet cameras, whatever fucking cameras they were using, wireless cameras, to watch the torture, communicate with the police, with the people who involved the, enforced the torture, about what he wants embedded in the torture. We came to this type of new type of uh, luxus, deluxe. Precrito, hidden type of uh, bestiality. And then we'll cover all the topics. People asked, people, people protested even in my face in the stores. They were involved here now, Mesta. Hey, it's already independent Slovenia. Wow, no fuck, hey. Really? Who the hell would have thought about it? Isn't that idiotic? That you get from some kids, they tell you it's independent Slovenia. That you get some from traitors here, prisoners, they tell you it's independent Slovenia. When you were the one because of whom the country became independent. Isn't that fucking weird? And you're compelled into this type of continuation of life here. And you should go out there and identify people. Let me explain to you something for the fuck of you. For the fuck of all of you. I would go and identify, especially because the main reason why I haven't done that is because Milan Kuchan, Bort Pahor, Dernoshek, all this Yugoslav elite who killed here a lot of people wanted to use me to bail themselves out for the crimes against humanity they committed here in Slovenia. 
This was the main reason why I did not want to engage in this. I know, uh, yes, I was patriotic, if you like, in a certain way, in a certain degree. Uh, but on the other hand, I watched, like I said, these criminals, war criminals, Mladic, Karadzic alike criminals. Well, I'm using these names because they were the people that brought to the hawk. There was many other people who did bad stuff and nobody ever brought them anywhere. Same people like Milosevic, basically the same kind of people. And that I would be the one that would go and say, well, yes, if there was a, such a thing like MK Ultra, Mr. Milan Kuchan or Borut Pahar can tell you about it. It would be like uh, basically the new key that I got. from the life, it's not from the car, given to them, I should say back to them. Because, you know, it was nothing. Uh, this was just MK Ultra. And when such politicians take ownership of your case, uh, not only anything can be done with you at any time, but you become a marionette, you become a pigeon. Something that Vladimir Putin dreamed a whole lot about. With Sergei Lavrov, with Medvedev and so on, very long, but it just didn't go through. With all those Russians in Moscow, it didn't go through. So if you wanted to know why was it that I would not do this, Americans eventually had daughter from Milan Kuchan graduate in the US. I don't know what, Yale or Harvard or wherever it was. They would bring me frequently, on a frequent basis, use me to pay the bills and so on. Why? Why? Because he's evil. Because this motherfucker is evil. You know how fucking evil this guy is. You don't know how evil this guy is. I saw him doing the other day this, and I saw him do the other day that. Because he's evil. Because he's evil. You don't know how evil. Hey, if I, anybody can say that hears voices in his head, if I fucking repeated you this shit a million times, you get to admit you would too. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.